work, finding time for a home-cooked meal might seem impossible, but our next guest says that with dump cooking, you are minutes away from an easy dish that anybody can make. I am here with the lovely Kathy Mitchell. She's the author of Dump Cakes and Dump Dinners, and we're going to make a couple of dinners together. Welcome, Absolutely. Kathy. Absolutely. Good to be here. I love the concept for this book. How'd you come up with it? Well, we started with dump cakes, and it was such a hit, and everybody loved it, that kind of the natural follow-up was dump dinners. Sure, we've got to have our dinner before we eat our dessert. I think yeah. that makes sense. And everything in the book is really simple. You just throw in a few ingredients together, make it quickly. It's for people who have got, obviously, tight budget and tight on time, right? That's exactly right. I, I just feel so bad for women that think they have to stop at the drive through or something to get dinner on the way home and come in with a couple of bags and say, here's dinner. Right. When it's so easy just to dump it at home and, and with stuff you can keep on hand and make a great meal. All right. Well, this is mostly, as you said, stuff that we've already got in our pantry. So we're going we're gonna to dump a little dinner here, and this is called baked porcupine meatballs. Right. Now, this I is a little it. more little more labor intense okay. than, than just dumping. But what I did was I dumped in some ground beef, about a pound and a half, and you could use ground turkey or anything you'd like. I would recommend for this, because you're not going to be draining off any fats or oils, that you do use a lean ground Certainly, beef. Certainly, that makes sense. Right. And I dumped in some regular rice. Not the instant rice, but this is slow cooking rice. Regular about, rice. And, and you didn't pre-cook it, right? No, you just dumped it in. That's about two-thirds of a cup. Okay. And some water and some just some lip, some onion soup mix out of them. Okay. Just put it in there. Right. And what you want to do is stir all around. Now, if you've got kids, we're going to add a little seasoning, too. And you can use whatever you like. This is just like some seasoned salt and some garlic powder. Whatever seasoning your family likes, just toss it just on in it there. Just do it to taste. That yeah. makes sense. Now, if you've got kids and you've got labor that's willing to roll out meatballs, <laughs> go ahead and let them do it. Kids love to feel like they're helping in the kitchen. Oh, yeah. And I have found in my many years of experience as a mom that kids will eat what they help make. Yeah, that is so, it is so true. The more you can get them involved exactly in the kitchen, right. the less you're going to have to force feed them at the table, which right. we all struggle with. Our kids and food, it's a hassle. But if it you have be. no kids, no labor, here's a simple, easy way to make meatballs. Now, they're not going to be round, they're going to be square. But I've always said the square meatballs are actually better because they don't roll off the plate. So all I'm doing <laughs> is just kind of smashing it down in the bottom. Now, you right. can take a spatula or whatever you have that has kind of a straight side, just get it all kind of pressed out there nice like that. Yeah, you're doing a heck of a good job with just, just take, a wooden spoon. Now, I have this little, little scraper thing, and look at this. All you've got to do is just go like this. Yeah four times down the middle and kind of push them apart and then go the other direction and you've got meatballs. Nice. They're not round, but they're fine. Well, that's okay. We're not prejudiced against square exactly. meatballs around here. Exactly. And if here. you want them bigger, like the, like those over there, you can make them bigger, you can make them smaller, or you could do this first and then let the kids just take those little squares and roll them out into meatballs because they're already measured out. Whatever you want to do, whatever makes it easy for you. Now we're just going to add a topping to it. So I've got just a can of tomato sauce and some water and a little Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire, yes. Worcestershire. And I'm going to just go ahead and add it in there. All right. So, so this is going to end up baking up in the oven, correct? It is, and the rice is going to absorb the liquid, and you're going to have your little sauce on there. You know, porcupine meatballs were like a comfort food that I remember from, from when I was a kid. Yeah. And that's a long time. No. So I'm just going to dump the water, going to dump the tomato sauce. If you're a purist and you want to stir them together, go ahead. But you know what that does? It dirties up another pan. It does, and it just <laughs> and it takes more time, and this is really all about being efficient exactly. in the kitchen. We pop this in the oven. How Pop long it does in it the stay? oven, and that's got to cook for about... Oh, I want to say 45 minutes or so. Okay. And it's gonna and it's going to serve your family. And if you want to put a vegetable, some salad, some garlic bread next to it, you've got a great dinner. That's fantastic, and it looks really good. We got our final well, product right there. Well, it does. This is how it cooks up, and this I cut the meatballs a little bit bigger, so they're more like more like a little steak or something. Right. But this is kind of like meatloaf in a different form. That's our little side dish, and that's our entree exactly over there. Exactly. Like like that'll cook up beautifully. And some cheese on top if you like. Whatever. Speaking of entrees, beautiful chicken dinner here. This yes. And we'll see our little dosi dough now. Very, very And easy. you can just step on over here. And this is another dump dinner. We're going to have a little chicken. We're going to have potatoes and veggies. Okay, so here we have potatoes and carrots. And you just put the whole potatoes in. I You're not cubing them or chopping them or anything. Dump them in there. Add a little bit of olive oil or, or canola oil, whatever you like. Use what you've got, and some seasoning. This is some, uh, this is some, uh, just one of those mixed seasons, like a nature seasoning or something like that. Mm -hmm. Toss that in there, and uh, got a little fork here. Just kind of move it around a little bit so that your veggies get kind of coated with a little bit of the oil. 
And then whatever kind of chicken pieces you like. Now, at my house, I would make it with some drumsticks and maybe a couple of thighs, right. maybe a boneless, skinless breast for my husband who won't eat chicken skin or whatever. But whatever you like. In this case, we have three nice big bone-in chicken breasts. And you know, the bone-in is really the best tasting chicken. Is it? But I, I did I'm take a, the skin I'm a big, off. like your husband, I eat a lot of sort of boneless, skinless chicken. Well, it's, the meat is always tenderest right next to the bone. Somehow, if they take the bone away, it doesn't feel like it's as doesn't tender anymore. It doesn't feel quite as <laughs> good. the bone. <laughs> and I'm going to put just the rest of, the, of the, uh, the oil on there just to keep those glazed up a little bit since they don't have any skin. Obviously, if we were using uh, drumsticks or something and the kids just plow into it when they you use drumsticks. They love that. They do. But this Something is a about way. being able to hold your food like that. Exactly. It's, really got, like. it's got a built-in handle, right? It does. It totally does. And a little does. seasoning on the top of there. Now, you're just going to cover that with some foil, and that's going to bake about, I'm going to say 45 minutes, but obviously, depending on the size chicken right. you use, you're going to want to test it with a little thermometer and make sure that it's it's Let the it gets up to a safe temperature. Up to 180, yeah. But you're going to cover that with a little bit of foil and pop it in the oven, and when it comes out, look at this. It's just delicious. The chicken is moist and juicy. The vegetables are just a little crisp tender. And the potatoes are perfect. And it's a whole dinner because exactly. you got a starch, you got a vegetable, and you got your protein. And it doesn't need any butter or anything like that. You'll find with all those flavors on there, you don't find yourself buttering the potatoes as much, which is really healthier way to eat potatoes. I love that. And just tell me real quick before we take a break, tell me about this dinner here. We're not going to have a chance to make it, but easy, do a little cauliflower easy, easy. and chicken? Or? Take a Ziploc bag, cut up a couple of boneless, skinless chicken breasts, throw some cauliflower, some apricot jam, a little bit Ooh. of seasoning, shake it up, dump it in a pan, cover it with foil and bake it, and serve it over uh, some white rice. So Serve it over better. The stuff that you didn't put into your porcupine meatballs, yes, your white rice, you've got that. the jam, mm, makes it so good. That's the kicker on yes. that. Okay, well, these are three fantastic dinners. I could make any of these, and they seem really simple, really efficient. But you got to stick around now, because when we come back, Kathy's going to show me how to make her famous dump cakes. And dump cakes are what started it all, right? Exactly. Dump cakes came before dump dinners, and we're doing that next. Being free from dandruff feels great. Maximum Strength Selsum Blue targets dandruff, wiping out flakes and itch. Selsum Blue, freedom from dandruff. When I have an eczema flare-up, I start to scratch. The more I scratch, the worse it gets. Gold Bond Eczema Relief Cream relieves five symptoms of eczema. Gold Bond really works. Hey, me. Hey, me in a sundress. I'm you from this summer. I came to say, get the swanky patio set today. Come on, we look like a celebrity on this thing. <gasps> this week at Big Lots, get the Charleston four-piece seating set for just $2.99. For quality and style, shop Big Lots first. This little piece of Hershey's chocolate is called a pit. It's the way we all start. And end a Hershey's bar. Pit by delicious pit. Hershey's is mine. Yours. Our chocolate. We've got a small business, and we needed a new website. I talked to a web design company, but they wanted to charge me a fortune. Then I heard about web.com. They said they would build me a custom website for free. We just thought, there's no way. Then I called them up, and then they built it for me. A custom website built free. Who would have thought? If you call the experts at web.com now, we'll build you a new custom website absolutely free. Then we'll list your website in hundreds of places online so new customers can easily find you. If you're happy with your new website, we'll continue to provide promotion, hosting, support, and maintenance, all for one low monthly fee. If not, cancel and pay nothing. And when they say nothing, they really mean nothing. Call right now and get a free .com or .net domain name for your new website powered by VeriSign, the world's leading domain name provider. You say it, we build it free. It's as easy as web.com. Call 1-866-490-4888 today. What's in my Snuggle Scent Boosters? Lavender Joy, a long-lasting scent. Each pack is a big boost of freshness. Little pack, big snifference. Snuggle Scent Boosters. Will Twizzlers mix berry bites ever end their rivalry with Jolly Rancher filled gummy bites? Not today. Bites, little greatness. Well, Maggie Rose is the latest and greatest on the country music scene. She just played a big show at 3rd and Lindsley last night. You can keep up with all of her shows and updates on our website. It's IamMaggieRose.com. She recently stopped by our studio to play her song called Who. Take a listen. Yes, 
Keen is facing an indictment for a murder she didn't commit. I found us a lead on the one man who can exonerate her. The imposter pretending to be her devoted husband, Tom Keen. The blacklist. Elizabeth is in trouble. Thursday starts with new Dateline, followed by an all-new blacklist and an all-new The Slap, tonight on NBC. It's tournament season at Universal Kia. Hurry in now and get our best price on a new Kia with a 10-year warranty. And don't let credit keep you on the bench. With our flexible finance options, we can assist. Call now and then click on Get Pre-Approved at UniversalKia.com. Ignite your curiosity at the Adventure Science Center in Nashville. Inspiring the lifelong discovery of science. Check this out. Hal is holding two brake pads, the one they install at the big auto repair chains and the one we install at budget brakes. Hi. I can't tell the difference. Let's see if Hal can. Well, I can't tell the difference. That's because they're the same. But at budget brakes, we install ours for less than you'll find anywhere else, and ours come with a lifetime guarantee. Budget brakes. Brakes starting at $89.99. Alignment starting at just $59.99. They're the same. You could spend more, but why would you want to? Tired of all the junk mail from investors claiming to buy houses? Need to sell a property, but not sure who you can trust? Call our family at Tennessee Home Buyers. We've been buying houses as is from folks just like you for over 30 years. Any price range, any condition. No fees and no commissions. The process is easy. Get started by calling us right now. Dial 299 cash. Call 299 cash today. Make tomorrow awesome with Xfinity TV from Comcast. Right now, you can get Xfinity TV for just $19.99 a month for 12 months with Xfinity On Demand included. 
Call 1-800-800-6488 today. Xfinity On Demand delivers thousands of hit shows, top movies, and more at no additional cost. So you can catch up on the latest episodes of TV's hottest shows anytime, anywhere. Switch to Xfinity TV for just $19.99 a month for 12 months with Xfinity On Demand included. Plus, ask how you can add HBO, Showtime, or Stars, and enjoy award-winning TV shows and movies at home and on the go. There's no term contract and no early termination fee. Plus, it's all backed by our 30-day money-back Comcast customer guarantee, so it's risk-free. Tomorrow could be awesome if you call today. Call 1-800-800-6488. That's 1-800-800-6488. Xfinity, the future of awesome. Channel 4 is forewarn weather powered by Weatherbug, the world's largest real-time weather data network. Weatherbug on Channel 4, sponsored locally by Zaxby's. Thank you for making WSMV.com Middle Tennessee's number one TV website. It's tournament season here at Universal Kia. Drive the lane in a brand new Optima for only $149 a month. $149 a month with a 10-year warranty. It's a slam dunk here at Universal Kia, Hickory Hollow, Rivergate, and anytime at UniversalKia.com. Tomorrow on The Better Show. Actor Jeremy Sisto is here with a look at his new series, The Return. Plus the best bedtime beauty product. And the wine guys are pairing wines to fit every type of party. Well, it's almost time for us to send you off into the world with all the great tips and information that we gave you today. But before we go, mm -hmm. our old friend Cheryl Najafi from Everyday Dishes has a recipe for making the best rice ever. Ever. Oh, it really is so good. Check it out. Hi, I'm Cheryl Najafi with Everyday Dishes, and today we're going to learn how to make the best rice ever. In a strainer, rinse two cups of dried basmati rice and leave it in the sink to drain. Heat three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil in a medium pot over medium high heat. Add the rice and cook two to three minutes, stirring constantly until the rice has toasted and puffed up a little bit. Add two and three quarter cups of boiling water, two teaspoons of kosher salt, and a half a teaspoon of black pepper. Cover the pot, reduce the heat to a low simmer, and cook 15 to 16 minutes. No peak until 15 minutes. Uncover the pot, fluff the rice with a fork and serve warm. So as you can see, toasting the rice in olive oil brings out its nutty, yummy flavors. And I guarantee you, you'll never go back to the just add water recipe again. Mm, this is so good. Make sure you like it if you loved it and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you back on everydaydishes.com. And remember, just get in the kitchen. Thanks, Cheryl. So, Christina, what did you learn today about being a better you? Um, you can you can splurge a little bit on some of the beauty products. I like that. Yeah. I liked how uh, when Tia said attitude is everything in life, too. It is your attitude. I feel so strongly if you go about a certain thing or you go about your day and you have a good mood and a good outlook, it's going to usually end up that this way. This is what we're trying to teach my son right now, who's yeah. a little bit of a worrier, which is you can't control what happens, but you can control how you react to it. Yeah, exactly. I love that. And that, and that really sort of uh, creates and defines your reality. And by the way, the dump cakes were shockingly good. They were so good. Shockingly good. When I thought, like, she's dumping soda <laughs> into a pan with some cake mix, I thought, I'm not sure what we're going to get here. It was so, so good. good. It was delicious. And, it, you know, it seems kind of fancy when you taste it. It's like, oh, she must have oh, spent yeah. hours uh -huh, in the kitchen yeah. doing this. No, it literally took however long the yeah. segment was. Three really, minutes, five really, minutes. really no time yeah, at all. Yeah, it was really nice. And the beauty splurges for us gals. We yeah. love, you know, different products. I liked the little touchscreen hair dryer. Really cool. What is the the one beauty product that you would most likely be willing to spend a good amount of money on? I'm, I'm kind of a frugal person, but the makeup brushes are always great to have. Yeah. Something that's like, going to last you and you know you're going to use on a daily basis and you want it to be really good, those makeup brushes were probably really for, good. For my, and just to show you how in touch I am with my feminine side, for with my for my wife, it's mascara. Mascara, yeah. Like, she's like, I don't care. Everything can be 50 cents except I got a good mascara. Really? Yeah. I'm a frugal girl when it comes to that. <laughs> she, oh, she is too. She's not spendthrift, but yeah. you know, good mascara. Yeah. That'll be good. Hey, thank you to all of our guests today and for everybody at home for joining us. And don't forget to make someone's life better. Wake up and win Luke Bryan tickets tomorrow morning on Channel 4 News Today.
The world is filled with air. But for people with COPD, sometimes breathing air can be difficult. If you have COPD, ask your doctor about once daily Anoro Ellipta. It helps people with COPD breathe better for a full 24 hours. Anoro Ellipta is the first FDA approved product containing two long acting bronchodilators in one inhaler. Anoro is not for asthma. Anoro contains a type of medicine that increases risk of death in people with asthma. It is not known if this risk is increased in COPD. Anoro won't replace rescue inhalers for sudden COPD symptoms and should not be used more than once a day. Tell your doctor if you have a heart condition or high blood pressure. Tell your doctor if you have glaucoma, prostate or bladder problems or problems passing urine as Anoro may make these problems worse. Call your doctor right away if you have worsened breathing, chest pain, swelling of your mouth or tongue, problems urinating or eye problems, including vision changes or eye pain while taking the Noro. Nothing can reverse COPD. The world is filled with air, and a Noro is helping people with COPD breathe air better. Get your first prescription free at anoro.com. Anorec, need a check? Anorec, need a check? Anorec, Anorec, need a check? Hurt in a wreck and need a check? Call us at 422-2222. Charles Pickens is a lawyer for you. Call 422-2222.